Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial. You can find the link to download the zip file in the description below. You will find two folders. In start folder, you will find all files you need to follow this tutorial. In the end folder, you will find the final Dynamo script and all related files. Open the downloaded folder, go to start folder. I have already opened these two files, the sample project and the Dynamo file, which is initially empty. So, the goal for this Dynamo script is to center and align these MEP fixture to ceiling grid. And so, let me show you briefly the algorithm we are going to build in this that in this tutorial. So, first we need to find for this element the closet ceiling where this is actually placed once we have done this we can get bottom surface of ceiling and using these grid lines we can split the surface after we have split the surface we will have these regions we can extract its centroid So, using distance method, we can find the closest region to this element. We'll move this element to the new location. And finally, we, can, we will find how much we need to rotate the element to align with ceiling grids. So, for this purpose, we can use the X direction of element and using the direction of these lines we can extract the angle between them and we'll set this angle to this Revit element and it will align so let's jump to Dynamo we are going to focus only this element we are going to build our entire algorithm for this particular element once we have done this so what we will do next is to create a custom node and we will wrap all our algorithm in this custom node and then we can apply the algorithm to all these MEP fixtures look for select model element select this element look for get location so now first we need to find the ceiling where it is actually placed currently so for so look for so double click and type ceilings let's collect all the ceilings in the project look for bottom surface make sure you have installed rhythm package because this node is provided by this package flatten this list hit run now we have to find the ceilings where this element is currently placed so now we can use does intersect node connect here filter by bull mask perfect so we have now filtered the ceiling So now what we are going to do is split this bottom surface using ceiling grids. Make sure you have installed this Paro package. This package provides the node to get ceiling grids. So 
type once you have installed just type get grid curves okay and also connect here I don't know if this is a bug but if you connect both input as I show this will the node will work else it will not work you can check this is not working you have to provide some input here so now we, you can see we have extract the ceiling grid lines now also look for get ceiling boundary One thing to note here is that there is gap between bottom surface and these ceiling grid lines. Look for flatten. Now look for poly curve by joint curves. Now look for surface patch by patch. Sorry, hit run here. We can hide this geometry. look for flatten and apply here look for list join hit run we have single list and we have a surface make sure you have installed topologic package so now we are going to split the surface into pieces using topology look for cluster by topologies look for topology self merge connect here hit run so we have one wire and this topology says how we can use topology slice connect here connect here Hadron. Now look for shell basis. This property. Connect here. Perfect. Now let's convert this topologic geometry into dynamo geometry. We can use topology geometry property this one connect here hit run perfect so now let's get centroid of each surface look for point at parameter and the parameter is 0 0.5 okay set back it to manual mode so now we are going to filter which panel or surface is closest to our MEP 
fixture. Okay, so we can use now look for distance two. So now look for get item at index. Connect here the output of this node. We have found the desired new location. So now we can retrieve the x value of this point, the y value. So the Z value for the new point is actually the bottom surface of the ceiling. So we can find it. Can copy filter by bull mask, copy this one and disconnect this list, connect the output of this list flatten air. So now look for surface point at parameter. Look for point Z. So we can shift this node to here. Now let's build the point using these three values. Point by coordinates. Connect here. Hit run. So now we are good to go to set location. Connect here to look for MEP fixture element. After we hit run this MEP fix fixture should move to center of this ceiling panel. Hit run. So as you can see this is now working fine. Now the remaining part is to rotate this MEP fixture. Look for get item at index. Now look for surface perimeter curves. These are lines we can get in the direction of these lines. Line direction.
look for angle on both axes. So our reference factor is x axis mm -hmm. and the rotation axis is z axis connect here. So this is retrieving four values. Look for the minimum, okay? Minimum item. This is how much we need to rotate. So now look for set rotation. Look for MEP fixture element. Right here. So let me show you. Minimize this dynamo. After we hit run, the element should align to ceiling grid. Okay. So as you can see, perfect. Now let's check. So now we can try our algorithm for different elements in the model. So let's select this MEP fixture and hit run. Perfect. It is working. Now let's check for this one one more time. Perfect. So now, as you can see, our algorithm is working fine and our goal is to apply at once for all these elements. So what we can do now is build a custom node, wrap all this algorithm in custom node. Okay. Select all these nodes, right click, create custom node, give it a name. Hit OK. So go to this custom node that save it. I'm going to save this custom node in directory, directory where this Dynamo file is located. OK. Save it. Close this. So this node is exporting these outputs so we can remove these for example we are not interested in these outputs let's edit this custom node look for output nodes so we can remove these ones and just maintain the output of this family instance save it Close it. Perfect. Now look for select model elements. Pick all MEP fixtures. Connect here. So you can set at level one, the input. And now just let Dynamo work for us. Hit run. So as you can see, all our MEP fixtures now are centered and aligned to ceilings.